Hello, I'm going to show you how to build the Frequency 3 geodesic dome using Domestar V3 connectors. All you need is the kit of 46 Domestar V3 connectors, wooden posts, and 240 bolts. You'll also need 50 large posts, 40 medium posts, and 30 small posts. You can use the calculator on the Domestar website to find these three sizes. Start by cutting the posts into the three sizes. Mark each A, B and C posts clearly so that you can recognize them when mounting. The posts need to be drilled 4 centimeters from the end. To save time and precision, I use a very simple drilling guide that I made myself. I'll try to drill as straight as possible. It helps if you're drilling on a flat surface, not like what I'm doing here. To make sure I fix the post in the center, I turn all the posts over before inserting the bolt. That way, even if I didn't drill straight, the bolt comes out in the center, and that's where the bolt is going to be attached to the Dome Star connector. And these are the Domestar V3 connectors. There are 46 in all. There are 4-leg, 5-leg and 6-leg connectors. 5-leg is the easiest. There's only one type and this is it. And there are 6 of these. There are 3 different 4-legged ones. This one with the oval hole on the left I'll call 4L left. This one with the oval hole on the right is called 4R right. And finally, the one without the oval hole is simply 4A, because only A posts can be connected to it. Finally, with six legs there are two different ones. One with an oval hole and one without. So without the oval hole I've only got five. And the one with the oval hole I have 20. So I advise you to do as I did and sort them out. On each branch you'll find a letter, here A, B and C. This tells you very clearly which post to attach to which branch. Here A is the largest post, B is the average post and C is the smallest post. You can't go wrong with this assembly if you're careful. Now let's start assembling the Dome Star V3. The first step is to build a base. To do this we'll need five post B, the medium post. And then 10 four-leg connectors, left and right. The right one is the one with the oval on the right, and the left one is the one with the oval on the left. I'm checking here that I've got a B, so put that in the right branch. And to continue with the base, we're going to take our four leg connector for A's. This is the one where there's no oval and there are only letters A on it. That's why it's called 4A. And then five pairs of the largest post, the A post. And we're going to hang them two by two with the five four legged connectors. I've got my A posts on my left and right and I'm going to assemble them with the four A connectors. And it's best if I lift it like this while I'm doing the assembly, otherwise all the pressure will be on the connector. Now to release the pressure, I lay it flat once I've finished assembling it. Okay, we finished assembling the base. So now we've got five B posts with the four L and four R, and five pairs of A posts with a 4A connector. And to assemble the base, we're just going to alternate our two types of posts. The one with the two connectors and then the double with the 4A in the middle. And that's about it. We can start screwing all the connectors together. Alright, 
Now that we've laid the base, it's the best possible time to move it and find its final location. After that, we'll start creating the structure, and it's obviously going to be a lot more difficult to get the base in the right place at that moment. Now let's move on to step two, the first level. We're going to start by taking five connectors with five legs and ten small posts, fitting them together two by two to make triangles. Continue assembling the first level. We're going to use the six leg connector. Be careful. This is the first moment when it's quite easy to do a mistake if you're not careful. So with the six pin connectors, look out for this oval hole to connect the small posts. And that's what's important. For the first five, we'll make sure that the oval hole is on my right. On my right too, I have the B posts. And on my left, I have the A posts. Okay, C on the right, B and A. Okay, now we're going to continue with another five connectors with six legs. But this time, mind you, I've put C on the left, whereas before it was on the right. So now on the left, we're still going to fill in the two bottom legs. Here I have B. So I've put all my B's on the left. And here I have A. I've put five A's on the right. So we'll simply screw the two legs together. So now we have three sets of triangles and we can simply assemble the first floor. We'll start with the simplest, the five leg connectors. So these triangles right here, they fit between the four L and the four R. Just look for the two ovals side by side at the base. There I have the four L and if I follow this post, I've got the four R here. So here I'm going to put my triangle with a five leg connector. Now that I've placed the first triangle, I'm just going to skip a connector and move on to the next one between the two here. I now have two stacks of triangles left. One with the B on the left and A on the right. And the other with B on the right and A on the left. I'm going to start from where I began and place the first triangle. You can see that we've got the B here. So I'm going to start with the pile where I've got the B on the left and I'm going to assemble the five. So each time I'll start next to the triangle that's already been mounted. So here's the first triangle and here the second and then the third and so on. And to make sure you don't make a mistake, I've already placed the triangles to be mounted right next to the ones I've already mounted. And now all I have to do is fill in the holes with the last set of five triangles. Here we are at the third stage. We're going to make the belt for the first level. To do this, we're going to need some small posts, the C's. We're going to put them in every time we see a five leg connector. We'll put them on either side of the connector. Then we'll only have five slots left and for that we'll take five B posts, the medium ones. This brings us to the second level. We're going to start with five six leg connectors. These are the six A connectors because they only have A connections. We're going to attach two A posts to them. So we'll also need 10 A posts. Here we are with the five A on the left, five A on the right and my six A connectors. You really can't go wrong here. That's it. We've mounted our first triangles. Now we're going to assemble another series of five triangles. To do this, we're going to need five six legs connectors, the 6M multiple. On each of these connectors, we're going to put a medium B post and a small C post. Here we are with the 6Ms. You have to be a bit careful. There's an order. So first of all, you stack them well and then it's easy to spot if one's not correct. There's only one hole where there's an oval, so that's this one. 
So that one we put towards us. Right, we're going to start building the second floor. I've got my five triangles with the six A's. You just have to look for the place where I have the six legged connectors. So there and there, that's good. Here, no. I've got a five and six, so it won't be there. Then my second pile of triangles is here. Here, I've got a B and C connector, so B on the right. And this one will come here between B and C. We're now going to go up to the third level. I'm going to need five multiple connectors like this. Make sure you put the oval at the top. What we're going to do is connect the bees here on my right to the branch opposite. And then the A, which is here just next to it, to the branch to the left of the B. So from there, we'll take the oval at the top. To post the third level, first I put some reinforcement legs opposite where I'm going to start working. That's really important for support. On my triangles, here I have the B on the right and the A on the left. So I just have to find the letter B here on my right and A on the left. I'll have to connect this third branch here. Now I need to put uh, a post from here to here. And here we are at the seventh stage, the third belt. All we need are five middle posts, the B's. So B and B. And finally, we are at the last stage, just the pentagon to finish off right here. So for that, it's simple. We'll just need the last five-legged connector, which we've already attached to a small C-post. And that's it. Enjoy your dome and see you soon.